Hey guys, Dr. Prometheus here. Welcome to our Final Fantasy 16 100% run. We're going to do all the side quests, all the hunts, everything the game has to offer, as well as this also serving as your intro and outro. So if you're liking this playthrough, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, check out everything else on the channel, leave a like below. And without further ado, let's get right into some Final Fantasy 16. Thanks, guys. I am, uh, was hoping to speak to you. Is everything all right? Oh, yeah, it's just, well, as you know, we've been trying to grow fruit down here. It's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on. Martel's pride and joy. It was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble, but look at it now. All our hard work's finally paying off. I took it on, you see, after she, well, after she died, and now the fruit's finally ready to eat. And not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Sure, why not? Nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Oh, thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? And once they've had their share, I'll see to it that everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called, in honor of her memory. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. I guess all oh I guess we're delivering them to the barracks, right? But to the mess. Makes sense. Because the curse breakers actually sit in the mess. It's a good thing I took this quest because I was going to the mess anyway. the girl from the furrows of course she was <laughs> an odd sort that one love plants more than people <laughs> i am brave as a bane might remember when she ran back into the hideaway to collect them trees when titan attacked wait these aren't those apples are they well i'll be she'd have been proud and rightly so thank you sid from the backyard for your service blimey these take me back I haven't seen a hideaway apple since <laughs> old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things <laughs> He'd nab him right from the branch, make Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Hang on. These aren't Martells, are they? I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clive, 
Tell the lad down in the back yard to run some over for me, will ya? Not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. I hear there's trouble. work, but it'll do. Yeah, that should do you. And? Okay, let's give our regards to the gardener. send their thanks and their compliments they were clearly very fond of martel they remembered her a after all these years i suppose she was very kind even to a tongue-tied lummox like me you were one of the good ones martel why did you have to die people are still dealing with that into her work she wasn't gonna rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy and now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. By the way, Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. I'll see that you're both well provided for. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? That was a very wholesome quest. Cool, displayed in the chambers. Okay. This is a very chill place. I really like it. Boy, Torgal. Torgal is just being the best boy. That as as All right, let's see what these are. Doesn't sound like anywhere is safe. Clive, anything catch your eye? Always. So nothing there. Listen to him. Fancy a look at the list, do you? Oh, same old. In it, Otto's got me reading through the reports coming in from our allies and picking out what problems we need to deal with now and what can be saved for later. It was still early days back in the old place, so I could just about handle the job myself. Stay of the world now, though. I need D's help to sift through it all. And that's just the shifting. Uh, sifting. Actually, solving any of these problems is a whole other headache. The curse breakers take the urgent stuff, but we're still stuck with volunteers to handle the rest. So, uh... If you ever find yourself at a, at a loose end, well, you know where to find me. Okay. Ooh. So much has happened since that night. It feels like a lifetime ago. 
but we'll never forget those who didn't make it. Kenneth, Martell, they're still with us in our hearts. Conceit. When I found out he was gone, I thought that was it for us. But he's still with us too. With us and in you. You took his name and gave us hope when we had none. So I suppose what I'm trying to say is, don't be a stranger, eh? A hideaway ain't nothing without us, Sid. Here you go. Seen enough? Okay. There's D. Oh, Clive. Welcome to the Patron's Whisper. The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh, no. That's still me. It's just Karen has her toll. Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalogue every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Okay. Business is busy. On top of my regular duties here at the Whisper, Otto has piled countless other tasks from transcribing a certain Stolos reports to penny needful missives and not that i'm complaining mind i enjoy writing i have ever since i learned my letters from jara back in the old hideaway i won't claim to have been his best student though the honor goes to shirley still i like to think jara would be proud of me too were he with us today words are immortal they live on in others and if the words are your own so too will you do you know who told me that it was Jara, in her last lesson before Titan came. It's stayed with me ever since his passing and inspired me to become what I am today. <sighs> I imagine we survivors all have a story like that, of someone who remains with us even though they're gone. Is everything we've received and everything promised. Completing side quests to earn Clive renown. Inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate money or items to Clive's cause. Visit Desiree at the Patron's Whisper in the Hideaway Mess to view current renown level accept any donations. Okay. Mary Band of Outlaws and his dashing deeds of dear redo are all the talk amongst the ladies of the court. We have gathered some items of worth that you might continue the gallantry. Heartstruck Dowager. Okay. You know, ability points? Jeez. You earned this. Okay. Our order is built on pride, but that does not mean we are too proud to give thanks where thanks is due. We may have failed Martha once, but never again. Blood axes. Oh, okay. So these are just given. Oh, okay. Come again. They're not yeah, spent. It's that's okay. All right, Nectar. Clive, there you are, Kapu. I've been looking all over for you. I don't know if that was supposed to rhyme, but it does. What's the matter, Nectar? The matter is this, Kapu. Okay. Board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. This is true. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not. I knew that already. <laughs> That's why I need your help. As I need to remind you, I am the mightiest of all the Mughals. No fiend of the forest, the ghoul, the greens board will measure up to Nictar the bold. I need you to slay them all. All right, gotta slay them all. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment, the people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. What with the blight and the war. The last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, and perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. And not die four times. Oh, thank you, Kapu. It's good to have found someone who understands me. Of course. I understand you, Mr. Moogle. I'll stay here, then to keep an eye of all the bullets to get posted to the boys. Anything you need to know, I'm your Moogle. About the hunts. Did you see that the bullets are marked with a location? That's where the horrible horror in question was seen. But you can't be expected to memorize every last place name in the whole wide realm. You're only human. So if the place name doesn't tingle your pom-pom, try reading the witness's statement. Sometimes there are other details in them that might help you track the nasties down to finish them off. Okay. Ask about the hot board. It's precisely what you see before you. Curse breakers note down the details of any particular dangerous monsters they hear about and encounter in the course of their duties. 
and post billets <laughs> there, Kafu, so that with any stout soul who wishes to do the normal service might set out to slaughter an ungodly whore or two, which is where you come in. As for me, I have the most important duty of them all, pinning a big red cross over each and every one of me cut down, so that everyone can sleep at night knowing the realm is a safer place. Okay. About your adventures. Did I ever tell you about the time I visited the Great Continent? With the Great Continent? I don't think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been. <laughs> this guy. Look at these wings. They look like the sort that would carry a mogul across countless leagues of open oceans. They call me Nectar the Bull. Nectar the Stupid. <laughs> okay. We killed one. Reports of Phoenix terrorizing the countryside are posted on the hunt board in hopes that fearless heroes such as Clive will take upon themselves to hunt down and slay the notorious mark. Okay. So we get, killed this one. A traitor coming by in the way of Cairn Nervant met with a troop of curse breakers traveling in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked winged harpy on the road ahead. His eyes wild and flickering. Although the curse breakers saw nothing onward on their own journey through the pass, the sound of crackling laughter from the trees sneered that they kept up a brisk pace. Okay. Reports have been received of a wild avius of striking size making its nest atop the hill adjacent to the east pool. Though all efforts are being made not to rouse the beast's ire, it is surely but a matter of time before it needs to feed. We hereby petition any brave volunteers to march to the northern border that we might cut the fiend down before it makes trenchers of nearby villages. Okay. So that one's in the Broken Hill Rosaria, and this one's in Clairvue San Barique. Okay. And how may I assist you today? How may I help you today? Study it well, Clive. Okay, this is a siege of the Strait. So they're moving to there, the Crystalline Impasse. Okay. We are going to Port Isolate. Black Shields are out doing God knows what. Okay. The state of the realm is ever changing. So the first place we need to go to is oh we can't actually go any that sucks okay so i'm gonna go look at my quarters because there's probably some apples in there and i want to see the apples and then we will uh move to the next area yes there is seamstress I don't know. You go first. He is a he's a happy pup. He's a happy doggo. There's our little personal owl. And there's the Martell's apples. Somewhat stunted and somewhat sweet. Apple grown from the blooded earth thanks to the dedication and perseverance of one of, of one woman, Martel. Though she was losing her life in the wounds she sustained at Caput at Capture's attack on the hideaway, her legacy lives on in the sampling she saved from the ruins. Okay, we've seen everything here. Let us go to Hawk's Cry Cliff. I'm going to use the bathroom right quick and we'll continue.
Okay. Fox Cry Cliff. Let us go forth. Do you think it was wise to leave, Gav? He didn't seem pleased. I needed his eyes and nose in Dalmechia. I'm not about to let Kupka take us unawares. Besides, he has a knack for that sort of thing. That he does. And wasn't it Sid who said that matters such as these are best left to dominance? Especially should one of his beloved opportunities to grow and change present itself. Was it Targal? I always knew that I would return one day. Return to Iron Home. For what? After learning the truth, you were given the chance to face your past. If I am to continue at your side, I must do the same. face it together then to the end who's a boy come on how far do you think your mother's reach extends Will we find the same tragedy in the south as we did at Marcus West? More than likely. Which is why we should hurry. There are still many settlements between here and Port Isolde. We will visit as many as we can and hear their stories. Starting with the village of Amber. <laughs> You'll look around. Ugh. <sighs> 
There it is, okay. Boy, Torgal. Can't read it. Wonder what that is. Okay, so we're gonna go all the way down and then come all the way back up. We'll deal with that later. We can't go down uh, go in there so let's deal with this all the way down see if there's anything That's why it's important to explore. Whoops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, so there wasn't a chest down here. If there is a chest, it's gonna be under the bridge, I would imagine. Seeing it over here. You're such a good boy, Torgo. I'm gonna pet you. Hey, TG Blue Thunder, thanks for that follow, my guy. Okay, so there's nothing. That's on the other side. We can't go over there yet. My, I would imagine we're going to loop back around. Okay, so let's kill everything else on our way up. 
and then we'll uh, go through the area that we are supposed to go through. Let's try one. Going to use that one. Messed up a couple times there, but it's all good. Any secrets? Yes, there's a chest over here. Just crafting items, okay. Not, nothing crazy. Okay, so we have to come back up here, then we'll search this side. Feel bad. Chocobos are our friend, or they're supposed to be. Okay, that should be in the middle of them. We didn't actually look up at the top here.
Those are safe chocobos. Okay, that's everything. We've checked everything. Mockery of justice is what it is. Lord Elwyn would never have stood for this. Quiet, you! Nothing but loyalists! John, look. Rosaria must be cleansed of the stain which befouls her, that she might rise once again from the ashes to welcome a new dawn. <laughs> it would be a pity to make examples of you all for the transgressions of but a handful. Of course, your lordship. You shall have our full cooperation. We will kill them all. Business could the Black Shields have in a village this small? There is barely room to hide a bearer. Then they must be here for something else. You fancy dancing a gallows jig like the miller's son? Welcome, stranger. the roads now excuse me but what was all that about earlier you haven't heard someone's been stirring up trouble there have been attacks on the garrison supplies stolen they even say a black shield was murdered the Empire wants answers and what the Empire wants the Empire gets don't they just Keep your ears open, eh? The Black Shields will pay good coin for information on the culprits. You'd have to be dull as a sack of stones to think you could... ...from the Empire. Word is, poor Isolde's closed her gates to all... You seen him, didn't you? I'm sorry. The Black Shields, just now. You seen him, didn't you? Yeah. At least I think there was a black shield. Can't say I ever saw one before. Was this the first time they visited the village? What do you think? Amber's the are sending nowhere. And they thought we might be arboring firebrands. Huh. If only we were. I might have turned him in and become a black shield myself. You don't think these firebrands the Empire is looking for could be us, do you? I don't know. But we need to find out. Greetings, friend. We are travelers. I know that. What do you want? We couldn't help noticing those Imperial soldiers who were here earlier. Don't you go telling these strangers a thing. I speak for the people of this village, and we have nothing more to say to you. You are to leave Amber and never come back. May I at least ask why? I don't know who you are or what brings you here, but your presence puts us all in grave danger. The Empire is a harsh master. Its demands are great, and it's just as swift. But as long as we keep our heads down and pay our tributes, we are left alone. Some might call it submission. But if it will spare my people the Viceween's wrath, then I will gladly submit. This village will not become another East Pole. Then we shall be on our way. The Empire matters not. These people live with a knife to their throats. In the mistaken belief that if they cooperate, my mother will show them mercy. 
Obedience bought with fear. Are you all right? Sorry, I... It's nothing. We still don't know who the Black Shields are looking for. Well, whoever they are, the Imperials deem them worth pursuing to the back of beyond. But other than Martha, who else in Rosari would have the courage to stand against the Empire? Your uncle. A new ally would certainly be welcome. Can we find them before the Imperials do? Oh, it's your uncle. Perhaps the next village will yield more answers. Perhaps. It has to be. This pass will take us through the mountains. And directly into the path of whoever or whatever lurks here. We will be able to take them on, Jill. Interesting. There's nothing there, so we're going to go through and we're going to go through this way and clear. We're going to use our limit break the first time we can so we can heal.
Okay, that's been cleared. Okay, just keep moving. A lot of it. And still wet. Is it, boy? You were told to stay in your homes. The Black Shields. You know who we are, and still, you would bear your steel. Why then? We owe you our thanks. You have saved us the trouble of an interrogation. To dwell in darkness, that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these, our swords we swear. Say that again. I'll show you a true sheet of Rosaria. <laughs> Okay. Tell me what I want in the end will be swift. Who are you looking for? <sighs> Your friends have been found. The branded you freed from our camps. <laughs> they await you in Ordil. Guardians of the Flame. What? Those are Old Hill's gates. Then we hurry.
find something, boy. Death. They've been dead a long time. This was my mother's doing. But why? Why would anyone... I don't know. I never truly understood her. But this... Oh, Clive. That's right. We should go. I said we go to the capital and just end it now. We can't leave them here like this. We won't. But if the Black Shields have made it this far south, they may already be in Port Isolde. Which means we have to make sure our uncle is safe. Is it more so? It feel like they they aren't really hunting. They're hunting me, but they're more so hunting for anyone that would be loyal to Rosaria, uh, Duchy. Which makes me think. The reality is our uncle's in danger. There's no honor in this. But we know our mother is without honor. So we'll have to put her to the sword. This was just senseless. They're approaching you at bridge. Though I doubt the Empire would let us cross over to Rosalith. Doesn't matter if they want us to cross or not. Back to our homes. Uh, I'm hungry. 
Don't go thinking you'll find refuge in the houses outside Port Isolde. The place is a wretched hive of thieves and blackguards. Okay. We know what awaits us. There's Rosaria Castle. Lazarus. What happened to this place? My mother happened. The nobles who lived here didn't stand a chance. Let's hope my uncle fared better. He was probably the one they were trying to root out. That's the main gate. And it looks like we're not the only ones hoping to get in. Wasn't this going to be an issue? We can't just barge in.
chinless bastards. Those crystals belong to us all. I said, where were you, filth? Back to your stall. We'll cut you down where you stand. Destroy it. No chance of slipping through unnoticed. We'll need to find another way in. Yeah, I would say so. What a boat on the coast. Wasn't there a boat on the coast? I thought we might be able to reason with the guards. Or at least bribe them. I suspect everyone in that crowd thought the same. Was that the only way in? Officially, yes. Strictly speaking, no. My uncle once told me that the nobles had tunnels built so that they could visit town without having to walk amongst the rabble. The Lazarus. We'll find our way into the city there. If you're sure. And the entire place looked abandoned. Do you think it's safe? Probably not. As long as it is abandoned. The good news is we haven't seen a single black shield since Old Hill. Maybe they found who they were looking for. I don't think they have though. There's no reason. Okay, we need to go back further. <laughs> 